defense takes the field, and they will start at their own 20-yard line. Intercepted. Touchdown. Will Witherspoon intercepts the ball close to the end zone, so you know he's going for it. And he gets it. What a huge play for the defense as they put points on the board. He gets the touchdown, Peter, and that was a very nice play. Definitely. David Aker to attempt the extra point. Michael Vick holding. Now the extra point, and it's good. David Aker kicking off for the Eagles. There's the signal, and we're ready. Akers booms a beauty here. Randall L. decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 20. Antoine Randall L. got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Redskins were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 20-yard line. Number 96 tackles in behind the line of scrimmage. McCoy had to leave the field earlier in the game, and now Susie Kalber has a report. Susie? Thank you, Dan. I just talked to the head doctor and they said that he may very well have broken a vertebrae in his back. They're looking at him right now. He seems to be in serious pain. The official word on his return, doubtful. Back to you, Dan. Thanks, Susie. Harrison gets the call again, and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Jordan, Jordan targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. McNabb throws up to it here. And the reception's made at the 38. Eventually tackled at the 42. That will bring up first down. And that'll do it for That's quarter number one. The Eagles enjoying the lead 14 to nothing. First down with three receivers to the left. will take the handoff and only gets back to the line of scrimmage. Will Witherspoon with the tackle. Second and nine. Ball of the Redskins, 43 yard line. McNabb throws a bullet to the flat and it's off incomplete with the deflection. We stop him right here. Third and nine. Ball of the Redskins, 43 yards. it in right side and he's looking for room he's in for the touchdown
the football. And then really turns on the juice. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it one with that terrific run after the catch. He fights for every inch he can get out there so you don't leave any daylight between him and the end zone. Wow, look at that. He's up over 3,000 passing yards. Great work so far. Here's the extra point. It's good. Six kicks this one away. Peter, interesting order to the division, isn't there? Oh, you bet. Demps took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Eagles had an effective first drive, and we'll see if they can keep it up. They'll start at their own 24-yard line. Bell picked up about seven, and that brings up second down. Bell charged like a rhino on that last play. Just lowered his shoulder and pow, plowed right through. It looks like he managed to outmuscle the defender there, which is a surprise because he's not known for his strength. That surprised me too, especially against one of the more agile defenders on the field. Second down, one man back. Bell, the ball carrier, number 29 with the tackle. And bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Number four unloads this one to the left, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Fred Smoot got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Number six lines up to punt after the three and out. Number six gets the snap and pummels this one deep. Griffin catches it at the 21. Right down at the 29. Cornelius Griffin returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Redskins offense comes out and has an opportunity to tie it before halftime. They'll start at their own 29-yard line. McNabb floats this one out to the right sidelines, and it's knocked away from the receiver incomplete. Sheldon Brown never gave his assignment any wiggle room and was able to prevent a completion. You know, it's all about blanket coverage, and that, my friends, was exactly what we saw back there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Thomas goes in motion. Good for a gain of eight. Antoine Randall made the catch without any challenge from the defense, and he took advantage of it. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. McNabb throws a big high lob, and it's caught at the 46, 20, 10, and he's in for the touchdown. 